All right, so here is a curved monitor light. I don't know how to pronounce that. Malefo, maybe? I've actually never used a monitor light. Packaging's nice. It has padding here, and it came in a much larger cardboard box, so it was very protected. This a little card from the company. Now, they did send this to me, but again, I've never used one, and I was interested in trying it out. Packaging is really high quality. I'm impressed. Here's a little battery. Standard cord action here. What we got? USB-C, so it's already a step in the right direction. Let's look at the monitor light itself. So, looks like it's just like a little Y-shaped guy here. I guess the lights are on the bottom there, of course. Oh, there's a little stand, and it hooks on your I see. So that's kind of like, like a webcam works kind of like that. So there's enough stand can hold it like that already. I guess not. <laughs> it did fall down. Where do we plug you in? Oh, up here. That's interesting. Oof. All right, so on the top, we have RGB. On the bottom, we have all bright white light. And she is bright. That part there is pretty cool, though. And then over here, we have what would be the controller, I guess. Is it already working? Hey. Hey. Well, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't realize it was tied to my voice. So here's the controller guy. It's pretty good. And it has, like, a, not a sticky, but it's not going to slide. It's not a suction cup, but it's cool looking right there. Man, I can't explain how cool this looks in person. I was not expecting that. Oh, the little sticky part opens up. I see. That's pretty neat. Oh, it does have a battery already, which is covered with this. That's nice. I love that. The control's making it brighter. It has four different color options. So you press and hold it to turn it on. Now the top is on, and this is the eSports red light. Now it should be color gradient, so that's just gonna be a rainbow color essentially. Double tap it again, and we have sound pickup, so now it should be Hello. Yeah, just to react into my voice. Ah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, that is uh, pretty cool. And then one more double tap should make it blue. They're calling that blue. It looks more purple to me. Well, they call it Blu-ray. And a uh, fun fact, a Blu-ray player actually isn't blue. It's uh, magenta, like this. And then red. A short press turns everything off. I got fully bright. I press it down and turn. That should change the color temperature. Yeah, it's more of a yellow color now. Now, if I press and turn the other way, it should make it more of a white color, white light. Yeah, that's pretty good. Press and hold to turn the backlight on. And now it is on. All right, so now if I double click, it should go to blue. Oh, that's the color gradient, I see. And then one more double tap, and it should be my voice reaction. Yeah, that's pretty good. One more should go to what they're calling Blu-ray. A little more maroonish. Oh, it looks kind of blue actually like that. That's interesting. Double tap should make it red. There we go. Now we got red. All right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me get a monitor set up and we'll see how it looks with an actual monitor. All right, so now we have a little monitor set up here. So now we're just gonna put our curved monitor light stand on this monitor. Again, you could just plug it into your laptop but I'm gonna use it like this. So obviously it's bright now, but let's turn this off. You can see, you know, now I could work and see my monitor just fine. Like I can really see my hand really well right here. You can see when I get closer to the screen, my hand lights up just fine. Or if I had a keyboard over here, you can see your keyboard, you know, really good now. See how light up, how lit up that is? It's crazy, right? The whole room's black. And then with the monitor bar there, I can see my keyboard just fine. I can even turn off the backlight of my keyboard. And you can adjust the angle of this light too, of course, right? And on the camera I'm looking at now, there's a big white beam. But when I'm sitting here in front of it, like I would normally use it. If I was gonna use it in a dark room like this, unless I was gaming or something, I would turn these off. If I was just trying to study or read or something, I would probably dim this down some. There we go. So now I turned off the RGB effect, which I think is very cool. Oh yeah, on the upper light, you can really see how bright this is. And see, the Razer keyboard is lit up, but this one does not have lights unless you get close to it. But I could turn that off and save the battery and just use this. So yeah, it's not turning. Yeah. So I mean, if you don't, like right now it's two in the morning and I wouldn't want to work with all these bright lights on. I could have this light on so I can see my stuff and that'd be pretty good. So yeah, give us a big thumbs up. All right, thanks.